Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie, Editor-in-Chief over at TheServerSide.com, and I wanted to show you what a fast-forward merge was all about and how it differs from a traditional merge. Now I've got a Git repository here with two active branches, Master and Feature. And just so you know, I had two commits on Master, then I created this Feature branch, and I had one, two, three, four, five, six commits on that Feature branch. So you kind of have a branch history like that. That's the Master branch, and there was one commit there, and then kind of you have this idea that there was another branch here, and then that was the good old Feature branch. That's some horrible design there, but you get the idea. Now, with these two branches, I'd like to merge them together. So I'm going to open up my Git Bash shell. I'm in the master branch right here. Uh, there is another branch called Feature, and so you see there's one file in the master branch, but the Feature branch has one, two, three, four different files in it. So I'm going to switch over to the master branch, and I'm going to merge the Feature branch in. So I'm going to go a git switch master and then I'm going to merge this feature branch in. So this is going to bring all of those files from the feature branch in along with everything that happened in these one, two, three, four, five, six commits there. So I go git merge, merge in the feature branch. Now I'm going to do this thing here. I'm going to say no FF, which means don't do a feature, uh, a fast forward merge, just do a traditional merge. Okay, so it's going to merge. It's going to say that's fine. Do you want to do a commit message? I'll say no. It'll bring in a few files. You see the master branch now has all of these files here. And I'm going to open up the git GUI, ask for a viewing of all branch history. And you'll notice when we take a look at this branch history, you end up getting that very branched feature that we expect when we do branch based development. Here, is the master branch. Here is where we broke off onto the feature branch and here is where the feature branch merged into master. However, as I said earlier, nothing happened after this branch was created and so there were no commits on the master branch so since there was no action on the master branch you could really just take all of those branches and just move them over and create a linear history like this. And so what a non fast forward merged or what a fast forward merge does is a fast forward merge creates a linear history like this, eliminating the concept of the branching of the feature branch and the idea that all these commits actually happened in a separate branch. It just takes that whole history, moves it over and makes it linear. So there's no point talking about it. Why don't I just show it to you? So one of the cool commands that you can do in Git is git log one line graph all and this creates a graph of your Git history which looks very similar to this over here. You can see the master branch on the left, the feature branch on the right and the merge point. Now what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to reset this merge. I'm going to take everything back to before the merge happens and then allow Git to do a fast forward merge. So I'm going to do git reset to EC5844C, do a hard reset. Now if I take a look at my commit history, you'll see that it's very linear. And now I'm going to do a merge, git merge, and I'm going to merge that feature branch into master, but I'm not going to use the no FF switch. And watch this. It says, okay, fine, I'm going to do a fast forward merge because the tool recognizes that, you know what, after we created this branch here, after master, there were no subsequent commits on the master branch, so it just simply makes sense to keep a linear straight history. And now, if I do a git log one line, you see a very different git history than before. It looks like there was no branching at all. It just looks like master and feature all of a sudden magically ended up synchronized onto the same commit and shared a common branch history all the way through. Furthermore, if I go into the git GUI tool and say again, let's visualize all branch history, you will notice that the history that was created when the fast forward merge was used, which is this one here, is linear as opposed to the branch based history that you get when the no fast forward merge was used. 
And so there you go. That is the key difference between the fast forward merge and the non fast forward merge. Now, if you enjoyed that quick tutorial, head over to the serverside.com. We got lots of great tutorials about Git, GitHub, and enterprise software development over there. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can always follow me on Twitter. But you know what I'd like even more than that? I'd like you for you to subscribe. Subscribe on YouTube.